Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender with today's fun cocktail and this is a special season, the Christmas cocktails. So this is going to be something really fun and let me tell you a really fun story about this. Uh, 2012, uh, my lovely wife, um, uh, Autumn Dorman, aka La Huera, aka Production, and uh, a server, myself, we were uh, having a lovely trip in a... Um, Kind of like a previous to having our beautiful babies up there. And uh, we happened to be in Europe. So the first stop that actually we did, it was the beautiful and lovely Prague in the Czech Republic. And uh, we were definitely not prepared for that kind of a winter. So I remember it was nine o'clock in the morning and we come across a beautiful stand where they're like making this amazing bread actually on a stick with some real firewood and sugar absolutely delicious and some cinnamon but the main ingredient that they actually is the company for this bread is mullet wine so i'd be more than happy to show you how to make mullet wine probably not like the same as the czech republic but something pretty similar please stay here with me let me show you how to make this beautiful seasonal beverage for every single one at home All right, so mullet wine or spice wine. Uh, one of the things that actually I find out in the research is that the citrus part, you don't put it at the beginning, you put it at the end. Otherwise, everything is gonna be very, or the oils of the skin actually ruin the, the taste of the wine. So having that advice on ahead, we're gonna start building the whole concoction. We're gonna need for this particular one, a 750 millimeters dry wine, uh, you need a Syrah, a Petit Syrah, you need a Cabernet, or you need a Merlot. Do not choose something light like your Pinot Noirs. Pinot Noir is not going to be the wine that you want to use. You want to use really nice and thick red wine. Let's empty the whole bottle. There is plenty and several several uh, recipes out there. Uh, see something that you, you can identify with uh, your taste and uh, your likes, okay? For this case, uh, we're gonna use half of a cup of brandy. Do you like to use some cognac? Sure, you can use that. Do you wanna use some Nice spice rum, sure, you can use that too. We're gonna use three cinnamon sticks, three anise star, six cloves, and a quarter of a cup of honey. On your orange, we're gonna slice it on wheels. But we're gonna add it at the end and everything we're gonna put in to boil for about 10 minutes in a really low heat. Okay, so 10, 15 minutes later, what are we gonna do is we're gonna grab our orange slices and we're gonna toss them inside. Uh, let them uh, sit approximately for another five minutes and uh, we're going to garnish this guy. We're going to toss one cinnamon stick, one anise star, a quarter of a wedge of orange, and fill it up with our mullet wine. Believe it or not, if you have some sugar and cinnamon sweet bread with you, it blends beautifully, just like we did in Prague. Right? Yep. All right. Well, it is ready. Well, there you have it, you guys. This is the mullet wine to celebrate that special occasion or just to warm up during this beautiful and cold winter. 
Happy Holidays, everyone.